and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex. I don't know about you all, but I was super out of ideas for how to use the gyroids that we got in the 2.0 update. I have so many of them just sitting in my storage. I've stopped even digging them up, which is kind of lazy on my part, but I just don't know what to do with them. So today we're going to look at 10 different ways you can use the gyroids on your island. Today's creators are just so creative. Definitely check them out in the description and some of them even made their dream addresses available. Let's hop into the first island here. I think this is so cute. There's like a little apple cider cafe here and so it is run by some gyroids. We've seen this trick before being used with the gnomes in the game. I've seen orchards that are run by gnomes, shops, etc. But now we can use these little gyroids and they're a little bit more lively since they can move and they even make their little, their little songs. I think they are absolutely adorable. I also love the detail here. I mean, just in this little corner we're in, we have the truck, the bottles, the little apple, the cup. Up next, look how cute those presents are in front of the Christmas tree, by the way, but we're in Disneyland and this creator is using the gyroids as guests on the train. How precious is that? It's also so unique and creative. I never would have considered this. I can't fathom how adorable it is. They're just, they're the little guests. They're riding around on a train, living their gyroid lives. We have to stand. I love this next build. We have a little council of gyroids here. They're like in the ruins. I don't know if the creator actually considers them a council, but that's how I perceived them when I came. Look at them go. They are living. They're being so professional. I love all of the stone objects, the symmetry here. It was all impeccable. This was such a beautiful build. This was also cool because all of this is right behind residence services. I love the pathing that's used here. It was just gorgeous. Up next is a cafe area. This is like a little tea shop. This is by Tia's house and I thought this was precious. All of the gyroids here are guests at this cafe. So they're sitting, they're having their tea, they're having their little desserts, and I think it is so adorable. There were also several items here that I don't recall seeing before I came to this island, like that bench and the skateboard on the ground. Didn't even know those existed, but they are so precious here. And even the Brewstoid made an appearance here on this island. <laughs> We are not yet done with the festive season, so of course I had to visit this island. Look at these carolers! They are caroling. They're having their little Christmas tunes. I love this so much. I also love that the gnomes are included and that they all look like Santa Claus. We've got mini Santa Clauses, one through like six, and all of these gyroids in layers so you can really appreciate all of them. That was really clever, by the way, the stacking that was used here. I thought this was precious and of course we're gonna listen to them because there are so many we get to hear so many little gyroid voices That last island used a bunch of gyroids but this one takes the cake for using the most gyroids in this video this is a gyroid forest. It's situated around the museum and you can just walk through and listen to all sorts of different gyroids. They play as you get closer to them. I love the pathing. I love how they're layered on the ground and on the cliffs. And I think it's so cute how they're arranged around the other little items that take up this little forest. It's like a mushroom gyroid forest. I will show you on the other side of the museum. There's another little like mini gyroid forest and it 
It is also heavily populated. This must have taken so long just to collect so many gyroids, but they're so precious. Look at them go. I love to see them dancing too. Oh my gosh. I don't think we've seen another one so far that was color coordinated like this one. I think that's so cute. I think that the more colorful versions of the gyroids are perhaps underrated. I haven't seen them very much in use yet, but this island really emphasizes them, how you can change the colors of the gyroids. There's so many different variants for them and look how precious they look arranged alongside these dollhouses. It's a little gyroid village. They have their own little homes. That is, that is just perfect to me. I love this so much. And now we can hear their little voices. This next build is kind of a double whammy. I feel like gyroids are one of the hardest things to find a way to use on your island and the beaches are one of the most difficult areas to decorate so this creator decided to combine those two things we have a little gyroid beach i love all of the little details the mini palm trees by the way priceless they are they're tiny little babies but i love these little gyroids here you can play the timpani drums join them for a bit of music Up next is a very beautifully decorated room, the only room on our ideas list for today. This is like a jungle retreat, a little getaway for these gyroid babies. If you place them on your walls, you can make it look like they're inside these little bathtubs. Isn't that so clever and precious? There's also a bonus gyroid up there on the shelf. I think this room is gorgeously decorated and this is such a cute idea for using those extra gyroids you have in storage. Give them a restful day. And this island is based on the Pokemon City of Heart Home, which is incredible to me. So we've got like a Pokemon battlefield here. Look at them go. They're on little teams. They're about to battle it out. We've got little gyroid Pokemon fighters. They're so talented. I also think that it's kind of weird though to look at the one on the bottom left to see it from the back. I mean, head literally empty, literally no thoughts. Anyway. On this same island, I found this little concert. Look at how cute they are. Look at them go. That is all I have for you today, my friends. I hope you had a wonderful holiday weekend. I hope the rest of your week goes well. And thank you so much for watching today. Here is my little sister Peaches to tell you all goodbye for now. I love you guys so much and I hope you had an amazing Christmas because I know I did. And one of the things that I got that I really liked was a skateboard. It's like so good and cool. I can do so many tricks. Not really, but uh, I love you guys. Bye!